Coast.tv and we find ourselves here at the St. Augustine Distillery. As you know, uh, many people know the distillery because the ice plant is, is attached to it. Wonderful bar. Uh, and they're known that they make their own rum and they make, I mean, they make their own vodka and their own gin. And now we're talking about rum. So we're here with Brendan Wheatley, uh, who's in charge of, of this uh, recipe. He's the, the mad scientist behind it all. And so I wanted to ask you a question. How long have you been uh, working on this rum? Uh, we started development uh, at the beginning of the year. Oh. And we had some ideas on what we wanted to do, but we put it to action then. Started sourcing, finding sources for, for syrups and molasses with the constraint that they be regional. Okay, so, so that took some time. So, are you saying that your sugar cane is from Florida? Uh, the molasses that we use is from Florida currently in the trials, and we have syrup that we've been using that's from uh, Georgia. Okay. And uh, you know, I'm not opposed to use anything in the South. Okay. So if we find that something is superior coming from Louisiana and it fits what we're trying to do best, I'm okay with that. Um, but I prefer it to be from Florida if I can. So we're happy that we found something that works for us that's from the state. <laughs> okay, that, it's fantastic. American rum. I mean, I think that's that's awesome. So I see it has a very nice gold color. Mm -hmm. um, if you had to, <laughs> I always think it's funny when you read those magazines. They say, oh, it has hints of cocoa with a chocolatey whatever. If you had to describe this rum. To a layman like me, uh -huh. in flavor, what would you say? I would say that it's a soft, round, approachable rum that has uh, barrel character, uh, light barrel character. That's why it's only so light. And we only put it in uh, the barrel for a short period of time. So it has like hints of vanilla, coconut. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, what I was looking for. <laughs> it's also got a very nice fruity character to it, good mouthfeel. It's nice and round. And uh, um, you can drink it straight, then? You could. Yeah. Okay. Um, we we've intended to keep it a little higher in proof. It's going to be released at ninety proof. Wow. Um, that works very well for making drinks. Yeah, because usually rum is at eighty, isn't it? Uh, no, or, they, they they make uh, rum and release rum at all different proofs. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's more common that it is at eighty than any other. But okay. But it's not uncommon to see rums at a hundred proof. Uh, right. The the island of Martinique releases a lot of hundred proof. Wow. Um, of course, there are overproof rums that come from Jamaica. So there are many people making rum at uh, higher proof than 80, and, and you know, depending on what you're trying to do with it, it can you know, be right. advantageous to do that. Bacardi had a rum, I remember you could light it up like a Molotov. It was like yes. 110 or something like that. They make 151. Right? Oh, one, yes, yeah. that was, what I thought, <laughs> oh my God, yes. But no, it's lovely. So mixing drinks with it must be wonderful. Yes, I, I'm, you know, one of the classic drinks is a daiquiri, uh, wow. not a blended daiquiri, but actually a, a shaken daiquiri. Oh. And uh, we we definitely vetted our rum to make sure that it did a good job with that, and it does, yeah. and we're very pleased with it. And and so the release date for this rum, okay, you've already released a vodka, you've already released a gin. Correct. Uh, and, and their base is also a sugar cane base. Yes. Okay, and so now you're releasing a rum, which rum usually is sugar cane when you think of it, so what's the release date? Uh, it will be September 3rd, okay. so just before the 450th here in St. Augustine. Yeah, and uh, it'll be available in our gift shop. And uh, we'll be releasing an additional Discovery Series release every month until the end of the year. So this is, uh, we're pulling back the curtain and letting people see how we're making and developing our rum for our flagship rum that we'll release in 2017. 2016. Sorry. Okay. So you're also um, you're also you're going to release this on the 3rd of September. Are you Correct. releasing another type of rum in October or November? Exactly. Um, what it, these are is they're part of a series. As you can see, this one has a one on it. Um, there are four parts, and we're calling it the Discovery series. And oh, and so instead so cool. of doing this R and D. Uh, in our uh, behind the scenes and then releasing a finished product we we felt comfortable enough with what we're doing to to let people be part of that and share in that experience so, so we're going to um, release four releases and each one of those releases will um, show part of the thought process as we develop the run so there will be a difference in taste between one, two, Absolutely. three, and four? Yes. Will they be darker in color or lighter in color? You know, that's a good question. Uh, 
I suspect they may get a little lighter. Okay. Um, but uh, that could change. It's a really a matter of balance for us. Uh, so uh, we may find that we, we choose to let them sit a little longer mm -hmm. in wood. But uh, it doesn't take long to get a little bit of color. So. And your barrels, where you get your barrels from, where you keep your rum? Well, we actually make whiskey here. So we pulled whiskey out of barrels and used our own barrels. Oh, wow. So the actual, uh, the, the, you know, so we have complete control over everything that we're doing. Unbelievable. I, yeah, this, um, wow, for St. Augustine to have a rum of this quality is, is quite amazing. I, I love rums. I grew up with rums. And I love whiskeys, too. I'm a big fan of both as well. Yeah, yeah. I love whiskeys. And when I travel to England, Scotland, I'm looking for the tiny little micro place to see and usually it's exceptional and there's a lot of love and care and this product here seems to have that same uh, uh, tenderness to it. You've it's a baby you've, you've come up with and yeah, I can't wait. Well, Brendan, I want to thank you. Thank First you. Coast TV. Allow us here in the, it's a special room, none of you can get in here. Only First Coast TV got in here. <laughs> and uh, uh, we thank you for, for allowing us to see this before it's released. I wish you all the luck in the world and I really think this is going to be an incredible success. Yeah, please and, come. Uh, we, uh, yeah. We'll be happy to have you. Are come you guys going to have like a big party to release for it or something like that? Yeah, we're having a build up for it. And, okay. uh, you know, it, because it's co corresponding with the uh, the 450th, right. that is the big party. Yeah, yeah. so true. We, we, we quickly realized when we were looking at dates that we had to have a release for our first one for the 450th. We wanted that. And, right. um, you know, it's. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's it's an exciting time here in St. Augustine. Yeah, now you'd have to wait 50 more years for the 500. Right, right. <laughs> I'd see them now and never. All right, thank All right. you again, thank and you. Uh, good luck in this endeavor. It's beautiful. Thank you.